So yes, people, don't know, you know who it is, it's your boy Fen Dizzle. You get me, I'm out here today with my brother Ben, upcoming productions. You get me, um, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Also check out the Table Time podcast, you know what I mean, New Year, we're coming back and we've got some powerful episodes. So today, we're taking a trip down to Brick Lane, you get me? Brick Lane, mate, yeah? The home of the craze, mate. Yeah, man, geez, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying, mate? But now we're gonna go and check out the culture of Brick Lane and we're gonna, yeah, we we'll break it down to everyone, man. So yeah, right now, we are, we just come back from Shoreditch, from Shoreditch High Street Station. And now we're basically walking down to this strip here. As soon as we get to the end of this road here, that's it, Brick Lane starts. You're gonna go and see the vibrancy, you get me? Yeah, so look, people, as you can see the signs, it says responsible drinking borough. So Tower Hamlets is covered by a public spaces protection order for alcohol, you know? So basically, because you've got Shoreditch around the corner, you've got Bethnal Green, you've got a lot of students as well, like that go out, it's, the, it's, a, it's a raving, it's a heavy raving scene around there. So as you can see on these back roads and that, people just be drunk and sleeping on the floor and shit, you know, the way there. So yeah, man. And that's from the Met Police, you know? Jeez, madness. Yes, people, so today, as you can see, we're basically at the middle of Brick Lane. So we've come up, got that side there, that side down there. So yes, we're in the most vibrant place, cultured place of London. One of the most famous strips, should we say, of London, Brick Lane, the home of the craze. So Brick Lane, yeah, the name of Brick Lane came after the Great Fire of London, yeah, in 1666, yeah. And the reason why this is called Brick Lane, yeah, is because this was a place where they used to create the bricks. Because after the Great Fire of London, um, the people realised that using bricks to build your to build your properties and that is more fire resistant and it and it holds onto the properties. And it, you know what I mean. So as you can see down here, this is where the the, the first bricks were laid. Brick Lane, you know what I mean? And then also, what happened was Brick Lane, like I said, years later, was the home of the Craze family. Obviously, they used to own a lot of shops and extort people and, you know, do their badness. But then years later, it become more cultural. So you have the Jewish community down here. We have a, Bangu um, a strong Bengali community down here. And we also have the Irish down here as well. And also, every other person is um, heavy for fashion. So you see a lot of people that are into fashion down here. You see people that are into food, so foodies, a lot of tourists. So yeah, today, we're just gonna just chat to some people and see what who we can find. Who wants to talk in Brick Lane today, you know what I mean? So as you can see, it's a bit, it's a bit vibrant. Look at that though, we've got like a little, like an old school art shop, painting shop. Jeez. Look at this. Brick Lane's got that type, that, you know, that trendy, stylish look. So as you can see, look, you've got the, this shop here is called Rocket. And obviously you can see it's got different types of brands inside. I'm not going to go in there, but you can see the type of crowd. It's like that fashion, that, you know what I mean? Catwalk. <laughs> Catwalk kind of people. Look, we've got Brick Lane Bookshop there. Proper like fashion shop. But how would I say it? Like, the, fashion, the people in the fashion world will be like, listen, this guy's not explaining himself properly. <laughs> but yeah, so you know, you know what I mean? You get me? It's a trendy shop in the fashion, in the fashion industry. Ah, you get me? We found it. This, this here is coming up to Bethnal Green Road. What we're gonna do, we're gonna find that famous bagel shop. We're gonna find a, there's a famous bagel shop and it's open 24 hours and it's been there for years. So maybe the people in there might want to talk, you know what I mean? And then we're gonna go down to where they're, they're doing the, the Indian curries, you know what I mean? And we're gonna show as well why they used to call it um, Bangali City because some of the street signs are in Bangal. There's people around the world watching this, they're not even gonna realize that we're in England and the street signs in Bangali, so that's how diverse really nice. this area is. That's how diverse East London is, people. You know what I mean? That bit of you, Fen, that one there. We say that one there, yeah? <laughs> get me, yeah? Oi! Get me, catwalk settings. <sighs> okay, no. That hat there, though, that hat is wavy still. It's a woman's hat, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that thing there, though. That's nah, a bit mad. <laughs> No, so I will be rocking that as well. Don't get fifty sat down on the road with the handbags. Look, bro. What's that there? See that sign there? So that must say Greenwich Street as well. That's what I'm, I'm gathering. We have to ask someone that's Bengali what that to translate what that means for us. 
What is that? Is that sound that's being translated? Does it say Grimsby Street? We're not good enough oh. to translate. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> look, they got caught out on camera. Because <laughs> obviously we're trying to capture the culture of, um, of Brick Lane. Really? And obviously we know it's it's got um, a higher um, Bengali community. Oh, literally, look, I'm on my dissertation and I'm carrying out a questionnaire okay. on um, whether gentrification has removed like Bengali. Why you call that? Communicate. <laughs> yeah, so like, so. How like Bengali community has been like pushed out. And, like, okay. So I'm like asking like the thrift shops, the hippie shops, yeah. whether they believe that too. Okay. Do you believe that? Yeah. Oh, you do, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, have you? Are you from this area originally? Um, a lot of our friends and families from this area, and then, like a lot of them have now moved out to like Zone Four. Okay. So like you kind of move from here to like. Zone yeah. Okay. So. You would know more than me. That's why we're down here today to kind of explore the culture. I know that there's a lot of shops now. It's more fashion orientated. It it's got the youth. It's got like party culture in Shoreditch as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Exactly. But the essence is still here, though. And yeah, this is what is. we're showing it the people. Is. We're showing that the essence is still here. You know what I mean? And you know the lamppost. If you go further down Brickman, yeah. it's like uh, Bengali themed. Okay. So you can see down there. There's a lot. On that side, yeah, down, the other side. Like, yeah. Basically near the restaurant. Yeah, because the restaurants are done. There. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. cool. We're going to go down there. Oh, yeah. Thank you for your time, yeah? Good luck with your dissertation as well, yeah? All right, Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. So as you can see, people, so look, we've even met locals that, that their families are local, and they even feel that the regentrification has pushed out the Bengali community here. So, yeah, man, when we do go down to the side where the restaurants are, we're definitely going to speak to a few of the people and get their perspectives on it as well, you know what I mean? Because this is what we're tackling. We're going to tackle the culture and, and show you the diversity of, of, of the place that we're living in. So, yeah, man, good vibes, people. Let's go. Oh, my God, let me get on the road. Oh, my gosh, you didn't run me over. I can't even get a claim. Oh, look at that, Masha house. Hello, boss. You work there? How long have I been here? Yeah, how long you've been here? How long your business has been here? This 49 years. 49 years? Wow, 49 wow. years. And, and, and how has it been working in Brick Lane? Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good, yeah? yeah pretty good. And what's business like? Is it is it busy or is it quiet? Gone quiet? My trade has gone quiet. Yeah? Other than winter shops are busy now. Oh, see, this is what we've been saying. We've been seeing, we've been capturing a lot of vintage shops and, and the boss man here is, is, is kind of answered it for us. Basically, mm. every 15 to 10 years, trade change in Brick Lane. Okay. So, that's the technique. We've got five more years in vintage shop. Yeah. And what do you reckon will come next? I don't know. It's you not vintage know. shop. It won't be vintage shop. <laughs> It'll probably be something to do with like art or something like I galleries. Know, I know, a long, mm. long time ago, about 15 years ago, it was never trade. Yeah. And before that, was it was a brick up. It's something different. And before that, it's something different. Now, yeah. 15 years gone, they've gone to, they'll be out soon. But one thing that's popular that's remained popular is the food though, isn't it? Like yeah, the yeah, curries. Food. Yeah, food, food, food. Look. Yeah. But well, I mean, food went out as well once. Okay. I mean, now they come back. I mean, yeah. they, look, 15 years, everything changes. Yeah. Years. And so, so, so would you say it's the, it's the, with the, is that is that to do with regentrification? I think, no, it's, it's, it's also that it's just that there's a history of Brick Lane every 15 years. I mean, it just changes. Changes, yeah. As you, you, you would know more than me, yeah. so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a puppy in this oh, yeah. game. Maybe 15, maybe 17, but they, it, 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 they'd be out soon. Yeah. Obviously, fashion changes, people changes. That's right, yeah. Uh, 15 years. So what have you done to remain oh, current and easy. to remain, still be here? Easy, that, that's the thing, right? Like, mm. You've got to keep up, you got to keep it up to date. Yeah. Fashion, yeah. price, quality, it's, it keeps you going, yeah. you understand? Yeah, yeah. If you if you don't keep up if you don't keep your stuff up to date, yeah. quality, price, and everything else, then keep you're, keep, keep, you're up. Okay, so what is it you, you specialize in? Leather. Leather trade. Yeah, I yeah. thought so. Yeah, it's like a leather shop. And is it is it traditional leather? Yeah, traditional leather. Yeah. Okay. Family yeah, man. Business. Family business. Family business. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so look at that, man. We just met a local, and yeah, man. Thank you for your time today. We're gonna to go and explore some food now. Yeah, right. This is the end of Brick Lane, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. the Brick Lane. Yeah. yeah there's not, was there anything really to see up there? Should we go and catch The baby shop. Oh, is that it there? Yeah, the on famous the one. On the, on, on the left hand side. All right then. All right, cool, boss. Yeah. Thank you very nice much. Have a good Thank day. you, mate. See you later. Thank you. Look at that, people. So we've got a local. That's powerful. Someone that's been here. He said, what did he say? Over what? 50 years. 49 years. 49 years. Yeah, so, so 50 years. Yeah. To even have a business for that long. To still be here, like it says, every 15 years, the, the the trade the trade changes. It just shows how how important it is to keep your business current, and how important it is to also. You can see he's a local, so I reckon there's a lot of people that he's built a rapport with people, and they come back. You know what I mean? I don't think they want him to go. So 
Yeah, man. Shouts out to that gentleman there, man. He's done well. That's 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 inspiring there. I like to see that. This coming towards the end of Brick Lane. This is the Bethnal Green side. Um, yeah, the Bethnal Green side, where the bagel shops are. And then we're gonna go back to the other side of Brick Lane, where all the restaurants are, and the traditional curries are. You get me? So, I'm showing you both sides. You know what I mean? But he's right though. Look how much of these vintage like fashion shops. Yeah, it is mad, isn't it? They're everywhere. Everywhere. I tell him not to wear that, though. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> don't know about that. Oh, so. oh, hold on, there's a shop, you, shop liftery. Oh, oh, they've done you dirty, oh mate. Oh, my days. Man's robbing from here. Man's robbing, <laughs> man robbed this. He took that and he stole the belt with it. Oh, my. You're a big man. Naughty guy. Yeah. He looks familiar as well. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> See, like a lot of women clothes shops down here as well, so. Okay. And, and, and it's vibrant, you can see a lot of tourists. There's a lot of tourists coming down here just to shop. So maybe even overseas, internationally, people know about Brick Lane as a place to come and shop. You see what I'm saying? This one here, Britain's first and best bagel shop, the Diego. Woo! Yes. Famous. Is this the one we're checking out, yeah? Yeah, this is the one we're going to check out. And then you've got, you've got that one there as well. But look how busy this one is, though. I think that's the one to be, isn't it? <laughs> you see this one, yeah? It says Britain's first and best. I've been here, I've been both of them, to be honest. This one is nice, so. This one, the salty beef bagel's nice. That one is hella busy, though. Yeah, the Down cheese there. crazy. I don't like cheese. Yeah, should we check out this one? Yeah, let's check out this one. This bagel shop's really nice and it's traditional. It's the first, saying it's the first bagel, bagel shop in Brick Lane, so. Yeah, and you know what, they also sell Fresh bagels. We've got a fresh bagel. If you come in the other day, we've got some fresh bagels, yeah. And let me tell you now, when you put that with the tuna, sweet corn and mayo in that, woo, it goes down well. Jerk chicken in that, woo. But also, this shop here is people knowing it for salt beef bagel. That's the that's the famous that like, you have to come to Bethel Green and get a salt beef. If you didn't get a salt beef bagel, like that, why, why did you come in? You might as well have just went to Tesco's, bought bagels. Bought the stuff and just made it yourself. You know what I mean? Sweet beef bagel. Since 1855. So look, people, this has been here since 1855. So this is the longest shop. This is the oldest shop. You know what I mean? This is the original pioneer. Is this a family run shop? Yeah, so it's a Russian lady. Yeah, we're a Russian lady. Yeah. And they've changed from owner to owner. And okay. then, so the previous owner had been here since 19. 89. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. So, yeah, but like the bagel, the recipe is stayed the same ever since back then. You yes, know? and you make the bagels from here, yeah? Everything. Yeah, yeah. it's always been like that. Everything, everything. Yeah, yeah. So, is there anything that you've got coming out of that machine now? Yeah, Show the people. Yeah, these in three minutes, and they won't come out and cut them. Oh, okay. Good bad, good bad. These are the toppings you can get on it, basically. From cheddar cheese, cream cheese, chicken. Uh, cream cheese and chives, like egg, egg and mayo, ham, salami, roast chicken, crab mayo, you know. That's a nice first. selection. That's the first time I've heard that. Crab mayo? Are you going to get crab mayo on? Yeah. Not for me. I, I, think, I think tuna will do for me. <laughs> ben just like, you know what? I'm just going to keep it basic, mate. I don't know about no salt beef. Yeah, but yeah, no. And it's also got um, look, you can get buttered, marmite on it, peanut butter, Nutella, jam, and biscotti if you want. Look at the different man. This is a rainbow bagel. Rainbow bagel, yeah. Yeah, really crazy. <laughs> so we're gonna get a rainbow bagel today. We've got puppy bagel. I wonder what that one is. They should show us. They're gonna show us anyway. He's gonna open. I'm sure he's ready to go. Check. Are you ready? Yeah. Wow, people. So look, as you can see, we've got the bagels fresh coming out of the, the oven, the giant oven. Wow. You can smell it as well, the aroma. Can I pass? Yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. Okay. So, so, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so look how fresh these are. So how long do these take to, 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 to how long do you have to keep them in here? About 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yeah, the whole process took about 15, 20. Wow. And how much bagels does it do at a time? Uh, we can, well you can do as many as you want, but we usually do about 100. 100 at a time, yeah? yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Loads of room in there. And then each one of these is an oven, yeah? Individual. One, yeah, two, yeah. three, one. four, five. This one's an oven. Jeez. Wow. See, that's just turning them over. That's just turning them over. Okay. 
Then in about 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Minutes. Oh, Sick. Alright. Nice one. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Yes. Cheers. So these are the sesame seed ones here. Sesame, yeah, you can pop it now. Hey. So yeah, these are different types of They, they, they look smell. amazing, then. They do. And they smell nice. If you can smell yeah. it, it smells so fresh, that. You're losing our place in the Yeah. <laughs> That's, 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 that's worth it though. Really, yeah, it's worth it though. It's worth yeah. it. You know what I mean? Because this is like rare footage. You, people don't really get this, you know what I mean? So we're showing. Remember, people from all over could be watching this. You know what I mean? People that have never been here before. So if you come to London and you like bagels, come down to Brick Lane. You know what I mean? You know the place to come. Right, right here. The bagel shop. But they say like Diego. Yeah, man. The Beagle shop. Be Just come to the Beagle <laughs> shop. You get me? Yeah, man. 24 hours as well, open 24 hours. I've come here after a rave, I'm coming here like three in the morning. Ah, I'm on that, man. Drunk. <laughs> yeah, let me get a go. You know what I mean? Making bare noise and that. Yeah, I Working a must. You know they're doing well when they got their own merch. That's right, you know. When you got your own merch, you know, you, satin, satin's popping, you know what I mean? People are coming and saying, what, can I get a jump on? <laughs> a bagel and a jumper. Yeah, a bagel shop. I said I went to the bagel shop they established in 1855. It's a big crescent, you know. Um, we reckon, can I, could I eat one of that? It's Rick and Cher. Eh? Rick and oh, it's Rick and Cher, yeah? yeah. Oh, okay. It's not one of the you could eat that. <laughs> I know, you know what? It'd be too much. I think it'll become too, you know, too rich, like. You eat, you enjoy it, you enjoy it, you probably get to half of it, so yeah, I'll save that to there. But you know what I would do though? I would cut that up, yeah? I'll make like, like chicken sausages and that, and slap them in there with cheese and that. That's what I would do. And can I get um, salt beef? They would love you. Gherkins and mustard. Yeah, yeah. Gherkins and mustard. It's like a beef burger. That's their famous one, right? It's famous, the most famous. That's what, what everyone, that's what they all want. Unless, they, unless they're vegan, obviously. Yeah. Or they might be Hindu as well, due to religious purposes as well. You're not meant to eat beef, you know what I mean? So you have to do that. So that's why they have to have a diverse um, menu for the vegans, for the vegetarians. You know what I mean? Some people will not. Look, see, salt beef and gherkin, another one. Look, another one on the go. Traditional beer. You gonna try it? You gonna try my one? I might have a little bit. Yeah, fam, try it, man. <laughs> you get me? Take a little You might like it. You might be down your shit. Yeah. You say you're not feeling the mustard, though. All the gherkins. Oh, you have gherkins? All the beef. Like <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> Customer service is 10 10. That's one thing. They're not angry. You know what I mean? You know, like you go in the yard shop and that. They're yeah. angry. <laughs> we want. Them like they're gonna fly over the counter. Oh, sorry. Them like they're gonna fly over the counter and and and, 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 and I'll chop you with the machete. But in there, it's like it's so welcoming. Like come back. Make sure you come back. I'll see you again soon. And she she obviously she remembers. She remembers. You. See the salt beef there. You get me? It's been as you can see. It's just been in there. It's pulled and you know what I mean. They've they've um, preserved it. It's like preserved in salt. And then we've got the gherkin there. And we've got the mustard there, you see what I'm saying? Look, man always see me eating ayatol and everything there. But you know, this, this thing here, this is proper still. You wanna try some? I'm gonna give it a miss. He's like, this was that food that a saint will eat. This was that saint that a dog will eat. He's like, this is what, my, I'm not gonna lie for you're eating dog food right now. So look, let me show you that. Good. You know what it is? I'm not a fan of gherkin, yeah? But it complements the beef. And the beef is very soft. It's not tough and it's got that. It's not too salty. It's got flavour to it. And then the mustard, can't go wrong. It's like having that, um, a hot dog, you get me? Good vibes, people. Nice. We got bagel shop. Nice. So yes, people. Can't lie. It's really nice. Enjoy the bagel. I think they put a little bit too, more, too much mustard in it for me. I'm being honest, though. I'm not a mustard fan. You get me? But you confirm it only for a certain amount of time. But I can't lie. The beef is so nice. It's preserved. Soft. Can't go wrong. So good vibes, man. We got Bethany Green and a salt beef bagel.
Nice to meet you, mate. You're good, yeah? Ben, Dante, Dante, Ben, you get me? Love them. Come on, upcoming production. Here's the name, I'm just going with name. We've got this side so far. When we come this time, we're going to go and get that side down there where all the, um, like the restaurant scenery is. Like, it? It's going to move down there. So, yeah, man, big up Dante, obviously. Dante's part of the team as well. He's been helping us on the journey um, when we're feeding the homeless and that in Creighton. And, yeah, he's been part of the team. Watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> Yeah. That pole there. Yeah, I've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, and obviously Dante is doing his own thing as well now. He's starting to create content. So yeah, man, he's out with us today. We're just going to capture Brick Lane, you get me? So what we're doing now, we're walking down to the other side of Brick Lane, basically, where all the restaurants are, um, where all the famous Indian, Indian uh, street food markets, you know what I mean? So yeah, we just went to the to that side of Brick Lane, so now we're covering the right side, you know the way there, should we say. But um, yeah man, it's been a good journey so far. It's very vibrant down here, very busy. Uh, loads of different uh, cultures, see a lot of tourists. So yeah, it's really nice man. And there's friendly friendly people in the shops. All the people that work in the shops that we've spoken to, they're all friendly, none of them are rude. They have good customer service, so good vibes. So look, as you can see here now, look, we're on Woodrow Street, yeah? And you can see City Spice, Spice City. This is a Bengali. Look, it's a Bengali cuisine. It's a Bangladesh cuisine, you know what I mean? And it's posh. Five star hygiene rating, you know what I mean? City Spice, look, chef of the year. Uh, look, appeared in BBC, ITV. You know what I mean? So, yeah, and they've they got awards. So, as you can see down there, this is a type of shops and restaurants that are that are down here, you know what I mean? Look, again, another restaurant. Brick Lane is vibrant. When it comes to Indian food, this is where you won't find better Indian food in, 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 in London or in the UK than down here in Brick Lane. This is the first time I'm seeing this. This is a new food market. We've got that Mexican grill over here. Yeah, some good crumpets still. Got the tacos on there. Wow. Yum, 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 yum. It's actual Hong Kong street food. So what 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 type of food is Hong Kong street food? Because we don't know. It's literally like a multicultural thing. Okay. And then uh, Hong Kong make it locally. Yeah, because we're used to when we have Chinese food, we have the usual like egg fried rice, sweet sour chicken. But I know that's not the food in Hong Kong on the street. So what what is what what is it here you you serve? Like uh, it's like the. Uh, Okay. Hong Kong, like the dim sum. Dim sums, yeah. Yes, that's for the for the lobato. Okay. Okay. Look, lo 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 turn yeah. it. So that's turning. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. Good vibe. Different. That's the first time I've seen Hong Kong street food. As you can see in there, I think people, this is an Asian street market, isn't it? It's, it's an Asian food street market. Obviously, we're in Brick Lane, but. It's, it's based on like Chinese, Japanese, Korean, um, look, Japanese, katsu. Look, they got so it's our first on Asian, Asian and Chinese. Dumpling, you know, I do dumpling. I'm dumpling, yeah, mate. Yes, sir. How are you, all right? Yeah, yeah. no samples. Yeah? No samples. Yeah, yeah, of course, why not? What samples are you gonna get? You get everything, whatever you want, sir. Okay. Which sample you want? Just let me know. Um, What's this one? Uh, this one is Kung Fu chicken, a little bit sweet and spicy. Okay, so we're gonna. This, this that's Kung Fu chicken. chicken. Yeah, I'll, I'll give that one a, a little try. Yeah, sure, sir. Why not? Nice it's a black pepper chicken. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, sir. Why not? Wow. Yeah, it's quite. It's quite finished. Nice. Would nice. nice. you like to try this one? Fresh crispy chicken. Okay. Just salt and pepper, very hot inside. Be careful. Be careful, yeah? Yeah, be careful. <laughs> burn, burn your mouth. <laughs> Woo! Oh, <good> <laughs> This one's Korean sliced fried chicken. Can't lie. So far, I'll, I'll give that a try. Thank you. That one there. Oh wow. That one there. That's nice. That's amazing, isn't it? So when you come down to Brick Lane. As you can see, we've got the market here. Good vibe. I want to try something like, I don't know. 
Well, well, watch this. I want to try that one. I'll give you. Lamb stir fry. It's like a kebab. Look at this one, man. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. See that one? Oh, why not? Get the mix. I'll mix for you. Anything wow. you like. Best one I'll give you. Got like a curry, curry to it. And sweet. Nice. Good vibes. As you can see, you come down to Brick Lane, you're going to get fed. You know what I mean? Look, we went around to five different um, stools, yeah? We tried different chickens. Um, Hong Kong style chicken, Korean style chicken, fried chicken, kebab. Oh my days, and I'm not gonna lie, the flavors. Oh, it's all nice. I, I can't lie, I don't have nothing bad to say. They all cook good. Um, all the chickens full of flavor, sauce. I like the spice as well, you know, like, I like the kick. You know, like Ryu. Oh, you can put the punch <laughs> in your ear, yeah, of course. But yeah, really nice. We got, was it upmarket? You know what I mean? So when you come down to Brick Lane, people who come to Upmarket, they've got some nice food in there. I can't lie to you, it's really nice. What do you think of the food, Dante? Everything in there was nice. I can't lie to you. Yeah. You know, sometimes you go somewhere, that's nice, that's nice. Yeah. That's, that's good. Dead. That yeah. Everything was nice. Yeah. And what are you saying, Ben? Yeah, banging. Banging, innit? I'm trying to come back. Yeah, you see, that's trying to come back still. So you're going to see us in there. We're going to do a whole day in it. We're going to spend a day in there and just chat to the people and the vlog. You're going to see us coming back in there. Police are doing some hard work today. Uh, what's going on, Whoa, look what they're taking. Taking a bicycle. <laughs> 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 they're going to be like, oh, yeah, stolen. You're under arrest. Well, so, what's going on here, officers? What are we policing? Uh, Seizing some bikes, no insurance. Wow. Uh, this is that Z people. Make sure you've got your insurance. But you need the insurance for the bicycle. So if they're not legal, yeah. you're allowed to throw on it. Ah, okay. Oh, rev and go. Yeah. So you're not allowed to have a rev and go now. Okay. So people, look, as you can see, make sure you're driving on the road of insurance, man. Like, it costs. <laughs> That's why we're not here driving right now. We're not driving right now on the road because man's not paying for insurance today, so we're not driving. But when we're affording insurance, that's when we drive because we've got these officers here and they're ready. They're ready to take, they're ready. Look, look especially this one, look at him, he's on it. He's, he's like, yeah, I'm ready to nick. I just want to nick, I'm not, I want to get my counts up, the nicking. Yeah, look, he's like, hey, you see, he said it. Good vibe. Are you, are you from the police station as well, big man? From the police station as well? Yeah, you're a police officer. So what y'all do? Rastafari, slap your eye, jaw. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right. Have a good day, gents. See you later. So as you can see, Brick Lane there, and that's Brick Lane in Bangoli. We're in there. So yeah, good luck. So so we just found out from one of the locals here that this um, this sign here, yeah, is is like a call for um, when there was a call for prayer in the Middle East, they would climb up and then they would shout the call for prayer. So obviously we can't do it here, but. So yeah, it's powerful, man. It's powerful. So yes, people, look at this. Again, we found another Morley's. Because we was in Dawson, on the Dawson vlog, you see the Morley's, and we've got another Morley's here. So as you know, Morley's is a famous chicken shop in South London. Yeah, yeah that's right, from South London, yeah. So I grew up <laughs> in Brixton, and I used to be outside the Brixton Morley's with my students back in the day, you know what I mean? So it's nice to see a vibrant Morley's in a different area where it's not dangerous. You know the way that? <laughs> Listen, back in the days, you can never sit in the morning. Okay, she said it's dangerous. No, not to break the sound. He looks like he's from the ends. Yeah. I know your face. Where the road are you from? I know you. Where the road are you from? I know. Come on, I know your face. Yes. This guy here, if you don't mind, do you know who this guy is here? This guy here, look, we're just saying Brixton, yeah, it's mad. This is why sometimes you will say things and talk it to his existence. This is a Brixton legend here. Yeah, no capping. No capping. No capping, and you'll see more about us. We're going to link up. When we link up, you're going to see more about us. Yeah, yeah, so don't worry about nothing. Just keep it as pure. Everything you're saying is giving you something. I don't want to give you something to go. 
hundred percent. Come on, man. Yeah. Big up, man. My brother, you know. Yeah. Love, bro. Always. So yes, people, you see how the world is small, though. And that wasn't staged or nothing here. Yeah? This is real life out here, isn't it? And look, we're coming to a Morley's. We're in Brick Lane, as you can see. We're not in the ends. And there's a there's a legend, Brixton man. Big up Beaver. You get me, Beavers in the Morley's sitting there and he's just watching. And he said, "Right, go over here, minute. You get me? Because he said what you're saying is true. So he said, "Tell the people them. So you're gonna see Beaver on the podcast soon. So big up the OG them." And yeah, man, good vibes, man. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna go to the end of um, Brick Lane, the market, and yeah, man, we're gonna close up the vlog, and you're gonna continue your day. I know, I know, you're still outside today, innit? You get me, but yeah, well, let's there. let's roll, man. Walk with me like she clutch, like she clutch. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's that's my new one. Walk with me like she clutch. Get me. Okay. Fatties, you know? Fatties. <laughs> you know I'll be a fatty. <laughs> oh, is that woman? <laughs> I hate this guy. I'll set you up. <laughs> oh, no. shit. She oh, was shit. pissed. That was she was upset. Yeah, that was. Like, big up for that. Though. Big up for the edits there. <laughs> they tried to draw me out there, though. That oh my god, you got me in trouble. <laughs> oh, we all make mistakes, you know what I mean? We all make mistakes. So we've got the flags, this is where we come and get the flags for Carnival. So this is the strip where we come and get the flags for Carnival. Coming up towards Liverpool Street now. So, yeah man, and you can buy whistles. So this is, so this is coming up to like, towards near Commercial Road and that is where Allgate um, is back in the days as well where they had a lot of, as you can see, fabric shops. They had a lot of wholesalers, so for clothes, Plain tracksuits, hats, um, again stuff for like carnival lighters, things that shops, other shops are gonna buy to sell. So, and again over the years, as regentrification happened, as the gentleman was saying earlier, every 15 years the trade changes. The trade has changed. You know what I mean? So it's got more quiet, and that's why we, why we can see more restaurants. You know what I mean? So yes, people, it's been a good day today. Obviously, we're just giving you a little tour of Brick Lane. You see what I'm trying to say? We're gonna come back here, we're gonna go into that food market properly, maybe we'll go into one or two of the restaurants. So yeah, we we'll definitely will revisit this, but yeah, man, we have to give you a little glimpse today of the, the culture of Brick Lane, you know what I mean? Um, how regentrification's affected Brick Lane. And yeah, we're still here in Brick Lane, yeah? So yeah, man, it's been a good day. Big up upcoming productions, big up Dante, you know what I mean? And yeah, man, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Boom.